Theater of Jackson Executive Director Steve Tucker. Hi, Steve. Hi, Warren. I'm proud to be your neighbor. It makes we're, it great. We're delighted to have you as a neighbor. It's a beautiful thing. Uh -huh. um, I guess I should go right to what, what's happening at the theater. If you get a chance, if you get a chance, um, <laughs> you can see that we've in, in replaced four emergency doors. That's what, that work is completed. Just up, got a uh, pink like note the, uh, down on the down. ground in, in the parking lot between um, the county parking lot and the theater. Mm -hmm. So four emergency doors are now fully functional. Both sides open and close efficiently and without having to really wail on them to get them in or to close them. Did you They're, put some curbs around them? Because people have driven into them. Too. Well, we have to, you, you know, that's right. Somebody yeah. did do that. And we have to figure out something to do with the salt situation because the salt uh, really chewed up the last set. Not that the last set was, was quite old, but. Yeah. Um, so those doors today, they were hoisting on the roof with their big, long hoist electric deal. Queen. Party go? Crane? Crane. Crane. Uh, wood to build the platforms for the new HVAC units that are oh, going wow. up. So things are happening, uh, and we still manage to stay open during this time period. We are going to be closed July 10th yeah. uh, through August, half of September. Uh, and then during that time period, phase one of the plastering takes place. Mm. And then we're going to be open for... November, uh, part of September, October, November, and December for our winter activities and our holiday mm -hmm. parties and stuff. And then January, February, March, and part of April, we're going to be closed again. Okay. So. Well, it's nice. Everything's uh, on the calendar for the project. Yes, they're, they're really uh, Mercer's running it. Dave Hines is our project manager, and uh, everything's getting done in a, in a, in a nice sequence. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they're a little, I thought they were a little bit ahead with the doors already going on. So they're replacing all 11 of them, including up in the uh, upper balcony, the fire escape, mm -hmm. the ones that come off the fire yeah, escape. Yeah, hopefully the ones you'd never want to use. Right, yeah. exactly. But we're, we're excited about that. So let me just go over a little bit of the schedule of what we have right now until, until we close. Okay. Uh, this Friday night, we have a Juneteenth performance it's an, it's an original piece written by Lisa Williams, and it is called Signs of the Times. Uh, it's a live performance featuring music by Big L, Larry Sumner, our local genius guy. Mm -hmm. He's awesome. And uh, Lisa Williams is all about the black experience in America uh, from the 60s on. The music is basically 70s oriented. Um, and that'll, that'll, Lisa's a local. She wrote the play for last year, too, and it went over really well. Is it it's the same, free. same play as last year? Or is no. It, oh, it's a different play. It's a different play, okay. and it's free. People can come for free. It's at 7 p.m., okay. which let, I should remind people that on the weekends, Friday night included, after 5, people can park anywhere downtown. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, like, Where, I can't find a place to park. You can park anywhere after anywhere. 5. Anywhere yeah. except uh, in the JTV spots. Right. Right, Brandon? But, That's right. Yeah, you can't park there because you'll tow right away. <laughs> Bart's got his own tow truck. Um, so that's Including this the structures. You can park in the structures, which are very handy to the Michigan Theater. Yes, very much so. Yeah. So that's uh, anywhere. You can park right in front of the theater, though, at 5 o'clock. If you are infirmed mm -hmm. or you don't walk real well, uh, you can park right there. And then um, let me get to the right page again. Tuesday is Food Truck Tuesday, and we're sponsoring that one again. Thanks um, for doing that. Our and, pleasure. And, and you provide the entertainment. Actually, for that. we're playing it because we, you know, we can't afford <laughs> to it. pay other guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're uh, Brian and I are going to play that one. That's Food Truck Tuesday, and then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, at 2 p.m. only, we're having the Mummies. That's a kids' movie sponsored by Kiwanis. Next week. Next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 2 p.m. only, $1 with a $5 combo. Yeah. Um, then next Tuesday again, or I'm sorry, the week after on June 27th, Ju June 27th, 28th, and 29th, Super Mario at 11 a.m., oh. at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. So two screenings per day on the 27th. I should let you know that on June 23rd,
Friday, uh, the crew's in. We have Big L and Code Blue. Oh, wow. Uh, outside. Outdoors. At, at the, and the last yeah. outdoor show we did with uh, Five Second Rule, I talked to Mike today, the best show they ever did, the best fun they ever had, with so many people. It was unbelievable, the audience. Yeah. And Very attentive audience, yeah. and if they come and see Larry, they will not be disappointed. No. He's awesome. Uh, following on the 27th, we have another food truck. And this is featuring uh, Harmony Garden. And this is Jamie Lawrence and Victor McDermott. Mm -hmm. And they do a, a show geared primarily to younger kids. And they did the Ella Sharp uh, Art Beer and Wine last weekend. And it really went over well. Wait, wait. When's the next food truck? The next food truck is... 27th. The 20th. And you're doing one the 27th? We're doing the 20th, Brian and I. Okay. And the 27th is Harmony Garden. Oh, Harmony Gardens. Yeah. But that's a food truck Tuesday? Yes. Oh. I hope so. I hope I'm right. Well, apparently we've got more than I thought. It's on the website. Okay. So it must I, be I, true. I'm sure you're right. Um, and then Lumen Christie Robotics um, has brought to us a movie for their STEM night production. They're trying to raise a little bit of money. Um, and that's, they're going to show the movie Wall-E. 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 Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a, a kind of a big hit. I'm hopeful. All the high school kids, the robotics teams in the area. I don't know if you've ever seen high school robotics stuff. but they're, Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. They're pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, Stockbridge had a heck of a team that did underwater they stuff. They did. They found a, a World War right. II uh, ship. Uh, yeah. Right. Exactly. We had the event at our theater. Yeah, our and own. They, uh, they showed that. Lucas Olson was on one of those teams. He works here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that, I don't know if they're still doing it up there, but the guy that was up there was, he was I don't think he was an instructor, but he was gung-ho. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, as we get closer to closing, uh, on July, on June 30th, we're having a jam, so open acoustic jam mm -hmm. with Five Second Rule, and that's where people can come in, plug and play. They bring their own instruments. If they don't have a guitar, they can use one of mine, and uh, that'll be fine. Uh, the next following next night, John Hart has organized a, 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 a concert with four local bands. And we're calling that one, It Will Never Look the Same Concert. It's kind of a blowout. We're going to sell a lot of stuff at a very reduced price because oh, we gotta, can't sit on stuff. You've got to empty the theater. We have to empty uh, concessions, popcorn, alcohol. Not, al not hard alcohol, but the beer thing has got to go. So we're going to sell it really, really at a nice uh, price. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be, there's going to be four bands. Distance, uh, T-S, not C-E. Cat Midway, it's a single act. I just spoke to her on the phone before I got here. Mm. Fields of Industry. And another band, all lowercase letters, The Illogical Spoon. Oh, I've heard of them. Yep, they've played around mm. a lot. That's a $5 show. Uh, so yeah, and buy the tickets ahead of time because it's eight dollars at the door. Okay. So that's four bands. We got to pay the band, <laughs> so these guys have got it. You know, they're not going to work for for free. I'm sure of that. And then uh, we just announced for a September uh, opening a big time act out of Nashville, and they're called Thompson Square. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of tickets available because the Village Police. Uh, the Township and Village Police Officers Association, am I running out of time yet? Getting there. Um, <laughs> is sponsoring this show, so a lot of their sponsors have tickets. Now, I want to talk about the capital campaign. We have nearly 57% of all of our money in. To, I had this vision, uh, it, it's kind of an exponential vision, mm -hmm. to where I asked people to, I asked 50,000 people to donate $10, and that would be like probably your listening audience. In theory, it sounds like it's a yeah. winner. So, but it worked in my dream, yeah. in my vision. <laughs> it was a daytime thing. <laughs> uh, so 50,000 people at $10, what does that make? I don't know, five million? Yeah, that's we are over, then we've made more than we need. Wow. So we could actually settle for like <laughs> Excuse me, I couldn't help myself. I, I, just, people to do that. I just sneeze. So I guess that's what I'm asking. Uh, mm -hmm. I know it's, I feel bad about asking for money, but if we could just get everybody to throw in some money, 
because I'll throw in money it's too. Our, it's our community treasure. And right. We've got I'm going to send an email out, though, to 10,000 people and ask them for, I don't need, I just need a bunch of people to get involved. It is their theater. It's, so. If everybody gave 10, 20 bucks. Right. Because we, we do a lot of things. Uh, we try to be an active member of the community. Mm -hmm. We always, uh, you know, do our share of giving and donating to other things. And, uh, it's people. amazing. Steve gives, uh, they, they let nonprofits use that theater for nothing all right. the time. And you do uh, contribute so much. Yep. So well, we'd really like a, the, a massive sort of push here to the end because we've really made great progress. You know, I've got a great capital committee team. Uh, <coughs> but the vision... I have a feeling this vision could actually materialize if perception is reality. I think it's a great idea, and All I right. think if everyone chips in, we'll get there. Just a little bit. <coughs> well, I, it must be the. Uh, did you bring? Did you bring in some ragweed or something? I did. I guess <laughs> I'm wearing it on my arms. It's part of my. Because uh, we're horizon. all out of time. Wow, that Steve, was. Steve, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Steve Tucker, executive director of the the Gem, the Treasure, the Michigan Theater of Jackson.